Tell you also, this is something brand new. It's called Bacon Bacon Pan. Get that? B A C O N B A K I N Pan. Okay, that's the bacon bacon pan. Chef Tony designed this pan so that you can cook your bacon horizontally and on its side. So all the rendered fat drips away and you're left with crispy, delicious bacon. Absolutely. What we, what we coined with this is you get all the flavor without the guilt. Because right. here's the great part. You're doing this in your oven, number one. Number two, you're cooking vertically. So all your grease is gonna go down into the pan. Super excellent nonstick, so you're not gonna have a mess. More importantly is the heat from your oven is gonna go all the way around the bacon. So you can see from tip to toe and in the center, that bacon will cook evenly. Whether it's thin bacon, thick bacon, maple type bacon and so much more that you can do with this. I just want to keep lifting some of these up so you can just see how perfect they cook every single time. Well, let me show you also and sure. I'll take the pieces apart in what you get. Now you're getting the nonstick pan and when you take the bacon cooking rack out, you can use this pan for brownies, whatever you need. It's a nice, beautiful nonstick pan. We also give you the little tool that helps you pick up each individual piece of bacon. So this is going to be perfect. But here's the magic, you guys. Check this out. See all those little, there's probably a better way to look at it. So all the bacon rests in between the little grooves here. And where then does the bacon fat go as the bacon cooks? It goes right down inside this nonstick pan. Now, just about every chef, home cook, and cooking celebrity will tell you the best way to cook bacon is on a pan in the oven. Correct. But the problem is when your bacon is resting in all that bacon fat, mm -hmm. it never gets crispy. It almost uh, almost boils in all of that. That is correct. What you want to be able to do is let the fat be separate from the bacon. The bacon fat renders away, and then the bacon gets crispy because the the warm air is circulating all the way around it. That's exactly right. Now, 500 of these are already gone, Chef. Thank and you, And we're everyone. very, very busy. And I'll tell you, for 1596, you can do no better when it comes to baking uh, your bacon. That's Absolutely. right. Baking the bacon. Baking the bacon. That's why we coined the name. And I just want to take this out. It does 12 strips at a time. Um, in a convection oven, it's 325 for about 18 minutes. In a regular oven, 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Now, I do want to make one thing clear because you hear a lot about microwave bacon cookers. This does not go in the microwave. No. This is a metal pan. This is designed for your oven, but it's a unique cooking system. And here's what's happening. All that rendered bacon fat then, look what your bacon is not reabsorbing, look what it's not resting in while it's cooking. Now, if you live down south, you save that because that's seasoning. Oh, absolutely. My mother never made green beans on a Sunday that she didn't put some bacon drippings in those absolutely. beans. Absolutely. Because you add a little of that bacon flavor to some fresh garden green beans that have already been put up and preserved. Oh, so good. So, 1,800 of these are gone. Now, Chef, may I have to have Thank a little you. sample? Please do. Now, in this, fact, this one is not, uh, this one is still warm. Yeah, it just came out of the oven. Mm. Now, what I want you to notice, if you ever had a microwave bacon, they do cook quick, but you don't have any flavor. It's like no. chewing on cardboard. This That's is what bacon crispy, is. Yeah. crunchy, and flavorful. And what Thank you're you. not ending up with is you know, all that grease that goes everywhere when you're, when you're having to blot it with paper towels. Absolutely. Mm. It's just a perfect mm. bacon cooker. I'm proud of our team when we put mm. this together. Mm. It's a really simple mouse trap, as, as Mark Charles would say. Or a better mouse trap. Correct. In fact, I'll teach somebody a little secret from my book. If you take your bacon and you rinse it first in water, it'll stop the bacon from shrinking so you get that I full read size. that the other day on Facebook. Absolutely. I totally did. I mean, just look at that if bacon. If you rinse bacon in water and uh -huh. pat it dry before you cook it. Correct. It won't be nearly as greasy. Correct. And also, it stops the shrinkage, so you get and a nice it full slice shrinking. of bacon. Exactly. And I want to also tell people if we can, I don't know if we can see this here. You know, we made it as a bacon maker, and then I started thinking, what about things like beef jerky, chicken jerky? And I have some over here that we made. And as we go over there, Chef, sure. let me do, quickly give you an update. Over 3,000 of these are gone. Well, thank you. And we have. 1,500 people on the oh, phone lines. Now, you. Chef, if I wanted to do something like a beef jerky, yes. you also have chicken jerky here, you have pork jerky. Yes. All of this you would leave in the oven a little longer, is that right? Correct. What I do is I cook it at 107 degrees. I was going to say a lower hours. temperature for a longer time. Low temperature. Time. Marinate it first. One of the secrets to it is freeze, dry, freeze the meat. Slice it really thin, right. then marinate it, lay it on top of the uh, racks, and pop it in the oven. And I'll tell you what, look, look, absolutely look, 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 delicious. Look, look, look up here. I just, I just noticed a breakfast biscuit. Uh, hello. Can y'all check this? <laughs> Look at the scrambled eggs, cheese, and fresh bacon and beautiful biscuits. And I'm not breaking this bacon apart because you and I, we like eating the bacon before we get to the sandwich. <laughs>
<laughs> They're like propellers. Yes. yes, they are. That'll spin right around in our mouth. I love it. Hey, 4,500 of these are gone. That's half of our quantity. And I'll tell you, 1,700 people on the phone lines. This is amazing. Now, Chef, when this gets dirty, can I? Uh, how do I clean this? Uh, top rack of the dishwasher. You can rinse it out with soapy water and a sponge. Nice. Also, please, everybody, besides the bacon, because you might not be cooking bacon every day, this is a phenomenal baking pan. You can do brownies, cornbreads, small lasagnas, uh, sandwiches, any type of steaks. So besides the bacon, it's going to be a product mm -hmm. that you'll use almost every single day. But the way the bacon tastes and how it comes out of the oven, it's not laying in its fat. Uh, let me put it this way. Look at this plate and look at this pan. Now, and it's what really would you simple. do if you cooked your bacon this way? You'd obviously have to take it out. You'd have to put it on a plate lined with paper towels. Paper towel. Then I'd get another bunch of paper towels, put on top of it, and sop it top and bottom. Pat top it, and pat bottom until so I was able to sop up all that grease and that rendered bacon fat. Never again. What if it were all allowed to drip away from the bacon, leaving only the crispy, crunchy, delicious bacon behind? We started with 8,500 of these. I have 2,500 left. Wow. And over 1,700 people on the phone lines. Thank you, everybody. This is an amazing little product. And leave it to Chef Tony to come up with a better way to cook something that we all enjoy and probably make every single week. Absolutely. And you know what? Again, my team is amazing. We sit around and we listen to our customers. We look at what people are struggling with and we try to create that product that's going to answer their solution. The best part about this is your bacon's not sitting in this grease, so you get the true taste of the bacon. Bacon, but then you can also keep that grease, like you said, that's beautiful for frying your eggs or anything else that you'd like well, to do. To coin a phrase, you have saved our bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I All love right, you. here's our story. Start with 8,500, 1,800 remain, and we're super busy on the phone lines. Chef, thank you, sir. As thank always, you for you're a rock star. Me. I appreciate it. We're thank gonna you, get these everyone. back for us, would you? Absolutely. Those are going for quickly. Hey, what do you say if we're going to stay in the in the breakfast theme? Mm -hmm. We go from bacon to waffles. Oh, I mm. But no ordinary.